uh, as what we were just talking about. Uh, final story of the day before we get out of here and let you guys go enjoy your weekends. Again, we appreciate all of you guys for jumping in. Uh, Emperor of Rome said talking to someone is a thousand percent more effective than screaming or punching. Yes, remaining calm and actually having a conversation does way more yeah. than yelling. And, and the hard thing is, here's yeah. why that's hard. I can scream and shout at masses. Yes. I can I can only talk intelligently and honestly and really with one person at a time. Yeah. Exactly. And it's 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 tough to reach everybody one by one, but the more people that you have on your side that are doing it along with you, yeah, helps out, right? Uh so with that said, final story, Michael Jordan donates a hundred million dollars with the Jordan brand to I mean. for uh for racial equality. Um now, I have not gone through the entire story. You and I just saw it, I mean, right as we were right, going Right on. before we were about to go, I found this. I shot it to you, and I was like, what? So I saw Robert Kraft's million bucks, and I thought, that's good. And then I've seen several, many, 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 many other people that are famous and have wealth donating large sums of money. And I thought, oh, this is good. And then I saw Jordan's, and it said $100 million, and it kind of took my breath away. That's that's a lot of money. Well, it's it's a lot of money, but it's also something that you haven't really seen from Michael Jordan before, right? That's right. That's, that's this might be the first public thing he's done like that. Yeah, it's it's maybe so, ever. He released a statement. Uh, let's see. Ben said, "Didn't MJ say he doesn't want to be an activist on the Last Dance?" Uh, Pretty much, yes. He did uh, while he, yeah, he did. And I don't know that, that he's trying reporting. to be an activist here. I think yeah. he's putting his money to good use and he's uh, going to let activists be activists. Damien said, speaking of the subject, what are y'all's thoughts on YouTube taking half of the money from the Madden charity tournament for Floyd's family? Um, I I don't have an issue with it because YouTube takes half of the money of basically everything anyway. Like they, I, they well, keep their, Here's my deal. If YouTube is taking half of the money they would make, in giving it away. I don't care what they do with their money. Yeah. All right. But if you were supposed to pay me a hundred dollars, okay. For easy math. And then you keep whatever else you keep. And now I'm only going to pay you $50 and then donate the money. Now I have a problem. Let, let me donate the money where I need to donate the money to. Yeah. Uh, ben Sometimes said, yeah, it this might is, be my wallet. Ben said, yeah, this is different. Uh, Ashley Giannini. Just because. Said, love MJ, pretty sure I had his starter jacket back in the day. <laughs> I bet she did. I bet I tried to steal it from her when I was younger. <laughs> so so let me read this MJ statement, all right? Uh, yeah. He said, the Jordan brand is us, the black community. Jordan brand is more than one man. It has always been a family. We represent a proud family that has overcome obstacles, fought against discrimination in communities worldwide, and that works every day to erase the stain of racism and the damage of injustice. The will, the work, the excellence the world has come to know is the result of one generation after another pouring their dreams into the next. It's 2020, and our family now includes anyone who aspires to our way of life. Yet as much as things have changed, the worst remains the same. Black lives matter. This isn't a controversial statement. Until the ingrained racism that allows our country's institutions to fail is completely eradicated, we will remain committed to protecting and improving the lives of black people. Today, we are announcing that Michael Jordan and Jordan Brand will be donating $100 million over the next 10 years to organizations dedicated to ensuring racial equality, social justice, and greater access to education. Uh, that's a pretty profound statement, pretty straightforward, and here we go. Uh, this is what we say. Jose said, about time Jordan made all them prison, uh, he woke. Jose got some typos here. About Time Jordan made all them prison he woke while Tiger Woods needs to wake up. Uh, and then Damien said, MJ will always be the GOAT. Uh, this is this is big time. This is this is I mean it it's I mean, not this, just the this, money, it's the biggest yeah. name in sports to this That's day. Uh, yeah. coming out and and making a donation, putting his money where his mouth is, and and making a statement showing that he is behind this. Because MJ's money yeah. will bring other people's money. Every other big swinging dick out there is going to say, you know what, MJ did it. Now I got to do it. Oh, a hundred percent. This is this that's, is a massive thing. That's that's the that's what the that's what happens with these guys. You buy a yacht, I got to buy a bigger yacht. You did this, you donated here, I got to donate here. You got everybody's trying to one up themselves. I don't know that many people are going to come together to one up this, 
but at least it's going to bring a lot more people to the table that it might not have. Well, and, and the good thing here, uh, Ben said he's donating Gruden's contract. <laughs> That's he, sad. He is. He absolutely That's sad. is. Hey, listen, uh, he's off my TV for ESPN. Good riddance. Now, you got that right. You got that right. Uh, it, it's very interesting. I, I like the, the $100 million over the next 10 years. Yeah. Um, it's not one lump sum. It, nope. You're not going to fix things overnight. He understands Ooh. that this is going to take uh, a, a decade from now. Yes. We could see massive, massive change. We could live in a whole different world in ten years. I, I'll tell you this: 2020 thus far has felt like ten years. Uh, it's crazy. Tyrone Davis jumped back in. He said, "Hi guys, I'm back." Tyrone, how you been, man? What's so up, it's, man? it's good to see everybody jumping back in here. It's uh, it's good to get the family back together on a Friday. I will tell you that. That's right. <laughs> But yes, this is uh this is major league stuff from Michael Jordan. It's interesting to see uh because I mean famously he was the one said uh, that said uh Republicans buy sneakers too. You know, he didn't want to be uh involved in the pol- uh, political realm, but um <laughs> Damian said MJ's donating the money he got from his pizza poisoning. Yeah. <laughs> Look, it, Michael Jordan did not want to be in the political realm. I don't know that this is necessarily a political issue. Like this is an equality. No, I think issue. I think I do think we're past that. I mean, yeah. I I will tell you that I personally know a lot of Republicans that are really sick of, of the stuff going on in our country as well. You don't see them on Twitter, and you don't see them on social media, and and you see the the extremes on both sides fighting constantly. There's plenty of reasonable people in the middle that say, you know what, this is ridiculous. Right. Oh, yeah, it's a, it, look. I will admit, I you know me. I am the facts yeah. guy. I'm the analytical guy. I look at numbers. The issue that we're running into right now is that you can't put a number on the people that are frightened of police because of all this stuff that's going on. Last year, uh, if my numbers are right, there were only nine black men that were unarmed and killed by police. Only nine. That's not that many. However. That doesn't list the number of guys that were pulled over for no reason. That doesn't list the number of guys that were that were uh, roughed up by police for no reason. All it is, is is the ones that died that were unarmed. That's it. You can't put a number on uh, the way that people feel, right? And, and while you don't want to get too deep into the emotional uh, aspect of it, you, you do have to sit back and understand that, like, you and I have never had to deal with this. You know, I... I I'll go on and bring. I'll I'll talk about this because it's it it's dear to me, and I told my wife I wasn't going to talk about it, but that was early in the week. And and just to give an idea, I used to have hair down past my ass. All right, I what I looked like a hippie. I was in a rock band. I wore black all the time. You know all that kind of stuff. I was pulled over for zero reason multiple times. At least four that I can remember. I was asked to get out of the car. I was I had never had a gun drawn on me. I never was roughed up, anything like that. Everybody just thought that I always had drugs or that I was probably driving drunk or something like that. I never was. But I was targeted because I would drive around with my hair down in a piece of crap car. And this was years and years ago. But I knew that I was being targeted. So when I would show up for court and stuff like that, I would obviously tie my hair up and all that and... and look like a respectable human being. I, I dressed a lot differently than I do now. I'll say that. Um, so at, on the smallest scale, I at least have some kind of an idea of what it feels like to be targeted, but it is nothing compared to black people and what they have to go through in this country. It's ridiculous. Yeah. So what I had to go through every time I would drive around in Memphis or you know it, in DeSoto County, et cetera, uh, I, I was pulled over by people that actually knew me. Like, it, people that I went to high school with that didn't recognize me, but when they did, it was, oh, okay. But my car was searched on multiple occasions for no other reason. And when I would ask them, and to be fair, I didn't know all of my rights back then. I know them now because I got tired of it. But back then, I didn't know. So they would just, they would ask to search the car. I knew I didn't have shit in the car. Have at it. But it would cost me 45 minutes to an hour of my time just sitting on the side of the road looking like a criminal. And it's ridiculous. It is unbelievable 
that that happens in this country for no reason. So, I, on a very small level, I at least have an idea of it. Um, and it's nice to see that it, it's coming to the forefront. You know, it's uh, it, it's ridiculous, and, and I'm glad people are standing up for it. I'll say that. So, uh, <laughs> wow, got a lot of, a lot of comments here. Uh, Tyrone said, I'm doing good. My fuel pump went out. It cost $1,400 to fix. That's just for the part. Whoo. I understand that. I've been through the fuel pump issue. I've been through I don't know nothing about cars, man. I can, I can Ooh. fix a house. Nothing in the house scares me at all unless you burn it to the ground. But, uh, yeah. car stuff, I feel like I'm just getting screwed every time I take my car in just for a simple oil change. Yeah. Uh, Damien said, I wonder if he, uh, if he won that money from gambling, talking about MJ. Uh, Tyrone said, Not $100 mad. million, dollars, I assure you, he's not <laughs> up $100 million. Uh, Vince said, it's always a good thing when something is beyond politics. Yes, 100%. Yeah, it needs to be. And then he and Vince asked, did I look like Charles Manson? No, you, you can go and search me out on YouTube, whatever. And go look for Severe. That was the band that I was in. Um, no, I, I didn't look, you know, crazy. I just had long hair. Is what it is. So I got called multiple, uh, you know, gay slurs and all that kind of mess for the entire duration before I cut my hair off. And it was ridiculous. So, you know, again, very, very small level, uh, not to compare it whatsoever, but, you know, at, at least, like, I know that I didn't like how that felt, and I can't imagine if it was worse than that. You know, like, it, I, I was able to fix it by cutting my hair off. You know, other people can't. Like that sucks, so it uh it definitely sucks. But um, anything else we need to hit today? I think that's it, brother. I kind of I kind of jumped a on a tangent there. <laughs> Sorry, Ben said I think we're turning a corner as a society. Uh, yeah, I'll, I think I would agree with that. Hope I think so. I would agree with that. So we we definitely hope so. Uh, you guys have been fantastic. Of course, uh, this has been a really good week. We do appreciate everybody that's been hanging out and enjoying the show, sharing the show out. Keep doing that for us. You have no idea. Uh, Damien said you wanted to be Kid Rock, huh? No, not really. Not really. I was never really into Kid Rock. <laughs> that, was, that was not my thing. But, uh, but yeah, I had, I, had, I had long brown curly hair. So, uh, here, I'll, I'll type in the chat to everybody if you want to go check it out. Uh, Pro Severe was the name of the, the band. So, go check it out. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's crazy, and the world is changing. And uh, and I'm glad that we're here for it because it's uh, it's an interesting time and uh, and it's it's better. I think it's better for everybody. But yeah, we appreciate everybody that's in the chat, everybody that has jumped in, everybody that's listening on the podcast and on the daily show uh, on whatever video platform you are on. You guys have been magnificent. Uh, great week, great week, and we will have another great week again next week. Uh, we got an announcement coming up. Obviously, if you were on the show yesterday, you heard us talk about it. We got some uh, interesting and exciting news. That will be popping up at some point next week. Um, but until then, we're going to hold off just a little bit. We'll have some special guests on with us whenever that goes down, uh, once everything gets done. But, uh, but yeah, Tyrone said, thank you guys. Any way to support you guys. Tyrone, we appreciate you. We appreciate you. We appreciate everybody else. Download the, the podcast. Make sure you are subscribed on all these different platforms. Share the show with your friends. Tell your buddy about it. If, uh, if one of you, if every one of you tells one other person, that's going to double it. I'm just saying. I mean, if one of you tell a million people, then that's that's cool, too. That would help as well. You got that right. So, you guys are awesome. Again, take care of yourself. Take care of each other. We'll see you next week. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com, or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.